Yeah. So at this time, can everybody stand? This flag. Pledge allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, may we have a roll call? Okay, Chair Mike Wretch. Present. Vice Chair Malecki. Susan Lance, present. Alderwoman Day. Anyone heard from her? Okay. Um, absent. Commissioner Remington. Here. Commissioner Stanley. Here. Uh, Ex officio. Michelle is not here. Kevin Schlater. Here. And Principal Planner Marion X. Here. And DPW Del Borchard. Here. Oh, Glenn, I'm sorry, City Engineer Glenn Morrow. Here. Hello. Hello. At this time, are there any citizens who would like to make a comment? Fantastic. And we will close the citizen comment period. And we will move on to the approval of the meeting minutes from February 10, 2024. I just have one change. I thought I had updated and I sent the minutes over to Gail on um, it's under unfinished business H. Uh, we had moved to approve the request to extend the approved time on Saturday morning pickleball to 1230 p.m. It says 12 p.m. in the minutes. I thought I had updated. No, the second paragraphs. Oh, the second one. Uh, yeah. But on the vote, it says Commissioner Lance yep. moved and Commissioner yep. Remington seconded to approve the request okay. to extend the time to 12. Okay. So she just needs to update it to 12. Any other corrections or notes? Okay. I make a motion that we approve the minutes with the correction of the time to 1230 and Unfinished business page. Do have a second? Second. Sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? You guys have it. Thank you. We'll go to unfinished business and we'll move to letter F, Franklin High School Pickleball Club. Um, do we have a representative from them here? Yeah. Fantastic. Mr. Huss, correct? Yes, sir. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. So the Pickleball Club, you're requesting the dates Tuesdays and Fridays, afternoons from 3 to 4.30, from March 1st to June 10th. Until it, until it snows, really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how far I can go with that. But sure. Yeah. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about the club? Yeah. So I decided to start the club um, in the fall. We started a little bit later, so we only got to meet about like six or seven times. Um, I didn't really put it out there too much because I knew that we didn't have a whole lot of space. Um, but the nice thing was that Pleasant View was just down the road. So that was nice having that redone, or actually just done. Um, we have currently 58 kids that are signed up. Okay. And yeah, we had probably like 10, 12, 14 or so kids show up on the days that we had it we had probably half the kids um maybe play tennis maybe a little bit less than half and half like some of them had never played a sport at all yeah. you could tell so we were uh we were working on those things sure. which is always good that's why that's one of the reasons why i i appreciate the sport of pickleball because it's not about just like athletics it's about getting kids outside um getting them some activity and um, some kids have like uh, mental health issues, and I think that can help with that too. Low, low barrier to entry, and uh, just a good, good community time. It's open to anybody, student uh, anywhere in Franklin, or just the high school. Right? That's a good question. I think I gotta find out. Um, I think I just got an email from an eighth grader. Like, can I do it? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> just show up. We'll have sure. a good time. Yeah, anybody though. Okay. So any students? Yeah. When you say you have 58 signed up, that was through just word of mouth or that went out in the newsletter? 
Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to push it too much. It grew a little bit too fast for me. Um, yeah, that's why I'm also curious at some point um, about the other courts that are happening there. Get an inside scoop of at some point. You don't have to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and we, I, I also reached out to um, two companies that make pickleball paddles. They, uh, one, one donated, uh, Paddle Tech donated uh, 12 paddles, and um, Selkirk donated four paddles and some balls. And then I'm also part of their discount program, so I can get nets for cheaper if we ever need them. Kids can get paddles for cheaper and stuff like that. So. Because right now we were using, um, if the kids didn't have paddles, I got the um, gym class or the PE teachers donated some wooden paddles. Sure. So that's semi insufficient, we'll say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're just they're just really heavy, you know, and yeah. it's not like conducive to like actually playing the sport. So sure. I also uh, just to add it a little bit too. I also reached out to some schools, and I know that Oak Creek they do something only during the winter. Because the tennis coach does tennis during the other times. So we might be able to do something. So trying to keep people in the loop, see the competition we can have. Or just even have fun, too. Sure. Yeah, you have a I don't have any questions. I might just comment <coughs> that um, currently we only have the school. Uh, the school runs the rec department in the city of Franklin. The park does not. Um, is that correct? Wait, mm -hmm. this the school runs the rec department, right? Okay. And so currently we're only uh, approved for the rec department league play, right? Last reservation. Sir, for reservation. So this would be in conjunction with the school department and the rec department. Would you be eventually working towards getting it on the newsletter for the school? Or that goes out to the students and yes yes yeah ultimately I was hoping in October or actually when school starts if those new ones would be available so we can have more kids show up because right now we only have room for 16 kids now not all of the 58 are gonna be there because they have sports going on especially during the fall but and then my other question would be at the end of your time spot would you vacate the park and then make it available for other citizens yeah, that's what we currently do. Okay. It was it was nice. Like I probably don't really have to worry about people showing up at three o'clock, because when we went there, people were usually done at like uh, well, some people came in at like four four thirty, and there were already people that I knew that I played pickleball with otherwise, so they just waited a little bit, or we would get in on a game with them or whatever, and then we just transition out. And the kids usually go and play tennis next to it or whatever. So yeah, it was all. <coughs> good with that. I I just have one question. Do you have a fee for the students? No, no, no fee. To show up, have a good time. So is it something from the department then? Uh, it would go through the school for the if it's a club, but I just think down the road they might want to open up. Um, if you get too big and you have to keep it scaled down, I mean that's a way of controlling the members because we're finding the community has a higher need than we have for reservations of courts. Oh yeah. It's at a premium everywhere, and yeah. a lot of them are going to pay to play. Mm -hmm. But with it being students and attached to the school, I think it's a great idea. Oh, yeah. And it is great for mental health, great for getting outdoors, and a good feeder for the rec department for members when they turn 18, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> I got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great for It's yeah. about like you said, the community social aspect with the kids. Yeah, I also talked with uh, Ben Racy, who is a uh, student Likewise, yeah. Yeah, a while ago, and he does tournaments like down in Lake Geneva, and I was just talking to him at a tournament. Hopefully we can get something going, like a little fundraiser maybe down the line around the area. So that'd be nice to try to figure out how to do that. Fundraiser for the Either high like, school, for the city? or Whatever. Yeah, I don't know, just something. Something to get the community and the kids involved. Maybe kids oh. versus parents kind of thing or something. I don't know. That'd be fun. Something interesting. Uh, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and with the... Sorry, go ahead. Were you going to say something? I was just going to say it's a good time to talk about across the street. Yeah. So, <clears throat> contractors out there working on those today. And uh, we'll be still on schedule. So 
I forget the time he's supposed to have everything done, but about 10 pickleball courts across the street. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I thought they were supposed to be done by June, but it doesn't sound like it's going to be that case anymore. Do you know? Like a little bit more? I think it should be done before June. But... Oh, really? Oh, wow. So, so they, uh, they got a good jump on it last fall, and so they're, again, shaping things and um, asphalt it, stripe it. So the stripe, the, the actual coating may not happen until later mm -hmm. because we want to make sure it's good and dry. We had an issue with uh, Pleasant View last year. We don't want that to happen again. Yeah. So we want to make sure that everything's good and dry. Yes. So we'll stripe it, but we won't, we won't coat it permanently <coughs> for a while. If you were playing a pleasant view without the coating on it, would it look more like the asphalt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was fine. Yeah. Really. Sure. That's awesome. Make sure it's done correctly. Did yeah. you seriously, say they were going to be 10? You mind if I ask, is that seriously fine? Because that would save us a lot of money when we, re when we redo the courts. I mean, I didn't, I don't remember, like, I guess the ball gets, you know, dirtier because it's more asphalty. Um, I didn't notice any like inconsistency in bouncing, but then it wasn't up like that for very long. Yeah. And you know, we transitioned to the court. So yeah. I'm guessing long term it'd probably be better not that I'm, I'm just saying coatings are very expensive. But, yeah. But your yeah. shoes would kind of stick, I think, on the asphalt and with that. Yeah, it was a little, a little hot. I I've heard yeah. that people say there's drag on the ball with the yeah. asphalt versus the coating. Kind of makes sense, right? Again, it's a very expensive part of the yeah. project. And I know downtown underneath the overpass, that's just asphalt, and that seems to work out a lot. It's just the ball gets really dirty. Yeah. We could buy a lot of balls for what we could. There <laughs> <laughs> well, you go. Yeah. Have at her. I mean, we were playing on it. Maybe that's something that we could take note of when it's at that state and mm. get feedback from the players. What I'm just saying, asphalt? if we're trying to make our dollars rich, mm. yeah, yeah. That would be it. Then, all, like, if you can, like, have it like that for a while, and like you said, get feedback, and then you need to do it later or something like that. I don't know. People just want a place to play. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Just have us go out and hit some balls. Yeah, and like with the time and the dates, I didn't. I don't know exactly. Like I'm guessing those days are good. I just don't know. Like usually, I ask kids like what works for you, and then and then we just decide those days. Okay. So I just kind of threw those out there. I guess I'll have to stick with that, which is fine. And then I was also hoping to, you know, get those ones if I could, but then I can just always come back and beg you guys for those ones at a later. I don't know how that all works, but just so you know where I'm coming from. And just so you know, we do get phone calls and emails. Where'd my tennis courts go? So yeah, you are, you, you are cutting people out of tennis. Yeah. The schedule will get posted this year so that people know when should be clear about what you want. You can go back and amend your request. But, yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. You're going to have to stick to what you asked for. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, next steps, since, since I was not at the um, all requests like this are set aside for nonprofit. Yeah, I was, you know, I talked with Sam Percy after the last meeting, and he said he was having a lot of trouble hearing. He had a lot of tinnitus that night. And he said to me afterwards, I didn't want those courts five days a week. I only wanted them the three. And I thought about it. You know, we did it according to which I totally understand groups that want to have a separate league come in and play with restricted players. This is really open to anybody that wants to show up and play. And we denied that request, and I, I just, I just, I don't know. I, I felt a little funny about it afterwards. After I said that again, you know, reminding he doesn't restrict anyone. If you walked up there and said you wanted to play in the morning, he'd welcome you gladly. So it's not a league. It's not a private. It's just that he want what wanted to reserve the courts for those three days in the morning. Go back to. Back to the request we currently have. Um, everything would have to go through in the school. So it's a request from the rec department. Okay. That would be the direction. 
kind of like should I email you with mm -hmm. or have them send you information about it? Yep. You can okay. send me ahead. Okay. Right, when were you planning to start? As soon as the nets are up? Probably. Oh yeah, that's a good question. May, April? In April sometime, depending on weather. I, I got the nets up at the Pleasant or Vernon Park right now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if we paid you a little bit, could you <laughs> no, travel down there and chuck out? The, the forecast looks good for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'll put them up early. Here's where I'm going with that. What if we could approve it contingent on? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, because then we Absolutely. Like to... I make a motion that we approve the pickleball reservation for the um, high school pickleball club. Um, contingent on affiliation with the public school department, letterhead going to our city, and that we approve use of it for the two days from 3 to 4.30. I would like to just think you need to change it to say school because you said there was an eighth grader. School. So not Schools. just high school, so with the school. Correct. The Franklin Public School District Pickleball Club. Oh, yeah. Already expanding just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I already don't have enough room. <laughs> Do we have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed? You guys have it. Well, thank you very much. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. No problem. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Take care. So we will jump to letter A. Update on park maintenance. <coughs> uh, okay, generally at the parks, um, we've got all the plow damage fixed in the parking lots and on the trails. Cleaning up the parks as far as uh, sticks from the winter and stuff like that. Uh, Ernie Lake was all rakes, and that's uh, that was kind of messed up from all the brushing we did. Put uh, it part there. That's all fixed up. Um, Specifically at uh, Franklin Woods, um, there's been a few high traffic days at Hills Playground, uh, parking lot full, over full, people looking for, for parking. Uh, so I got the temporary no, no parking signs up there. Um, opened up a second restroom there and put in some additional uh, toilet paper holders. So enough capacity at uh, Franklin Woods uh, restroom. Can't open the um, of men's and women's restroom yet because they're in the 20s and we don't have to eat those restrooms. Um, had a complaint of a tripping, a possible tripping hazard in the mini city area. Uh, a young boy tripped and hit his head on uh, one of the window hills. So, um, I mean, in, in eight and a half years, we haven't had a problem there. So, but but I kids. yeah, I added a board to eliminate the the, the dresser the, the mom's. So I didn't. I, I don't think it's a problem, but I, I added the board. Things good with her. So, um, the woods at Franklin Woods. There was several um, winds and, uh, and the storms. It was really down there. Um, at Vernon Park, uh, like I said, the pickleball and tennis nets are up. There's no windscreen up yet, but uh, those are all ready to play right now. Um, Legend One, there was several um, big oaks cut down by our um, heading crew. Tops there, they're dead. Um, uh, the Easter egg hunt's going to be at the end of the um, at the end of the thirtieth. So that's coming up. I'll have to open up to the restroom for that. And at Lynette, Lynette Fox, there was a request for a dog station that, um, to be put in, so I added a dog station at Lynette Fox. So yeah, water. Do you have one thing to add? So. <coughs> Uh, trails. Um, I was notified 
Monday, a week ago, that uh, we could get grant for Keith's trail. Bad news is it's 27-28. So I'm in the process of trying to figure out if they will allow us to build it early and that we could reimburse ourselves later on. They may go for that, but I haven't talked to the right person to give me that authority. Wow. <clears throat> From uh, 76 to St. Martin's. Okay. So uh, we would, the grant was to ask for full design. <clears throat> so we would have to RFQ a consultant, um, go through the whole process of consultant selection. First thing they would do is figure out should the trail go on the north side or south side. I think generally most everybody thinks, with the exception of a few notable, think that there should be a trail, um, but they always want on the other side of the road. So sure. um, to, to be fair, we need to go through a full analysis and, and should it be on the north side or south side. And then we'll design it and build it. And again, I'm trying to figure out if we can talk to finance. <clears throat> we do have pockets of money we could borrow from ourselves. Um, and then we could, I mean, in theory, if I could design it in 24, build it in 25, and then we just know we have to wait for a couple of years to pay ourselves back, that would be good. Uh, plus, it spins impact fees. So we're, I'm working on that. Snow melts quick. Yeah, wouldn't you put on the same side as the sidewalk? And we're going to go to St. Martin's. No, it, it's on Pewts. You said Pewts? From St. Martin's to 76. Oh. So okay. DOT will be building a 10 foot trail on the east side of St. Martin. So it cross Pewts. So it'll either north or south side of Pewts, it'll connect to that trail. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah, by the way. Years back, they were going to build a sidewalk from Church Street through that um, Mission Hills wetland, you call it. Um, sidewalk going to there and going down to the monastery. And somebody at the top of the hill complained. This was like 20 years ago. Do you think we could revisit that? I mean, that was the exception. Especially on the, on the monastery side, there's so much that's come down in the in the storms and people hauling their wood over there and dumping it and I think DPW could do a little cleanup on on mission uh, monastery right down there make sure I know what you're talking about can you go on the map Going to build a small parking lot on Church Street. Church Street, Drexel. Where is it? Near Chapel Hill. I don't. Oh. You can walk up to the. Oh, there, Church Street. Yeah. You're the first person that's ever said that to me. Um, probably if we put it on next year's budget as a that way to get people talking about this issue, we can talk about whether that jump ahead some of the other projects we're looking at. Because I, I, so I should probably also tell you that um, the Cascade <coughs> Trail Connection has, um, we got some okays from the county that they can, if we go through the city of Milwaukee, 
land, they would allow it. So we uh, met with the older person for that area. And we went out and talked to the city of Milwaukee on their tree farm. And that seems to be okay. So we're getting proposals together and we'll make a recommendation for a consultant to design that trail. That's a very expensive, it's not a very big trail, but it's very expensive because of all the permitting. Got across. Yes. Do you have any other questions? Move to letter B. Uh, park pavilion use. Draft ordinance to add municipal code section 18348T. <coughs> Prohibit use of city park pavilions without proper authorization. That went to the Common Council. Um, and I, I copied, pasted in full the full comment email that we received. And uh, I was asked to come back with exactly what is posted in each park. So I hope, hope we can get that done. Yeah, I think that was a big concern is what exactly is posted. So sure. Because the way the ordinance reads is as posted, da 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 da, da, da. So they want to know what's really posted. Okay. Dale was kind enough to take pictures. Yeah, so there's pictures. Yeah. I just oh. not sure I'll get to the So you're taking it to Common Council? I took it you and took they it. tabled it. We have to take it back again. I because they wanted to see the signs. Move to uh, letter C. Park facilities reservation and permitting policies. Discussion of reservation policies, league sports, and other groups. These rules and policies. So, Commissioner Milwaukee produced this document, um, which was briefly discussed at your previous meeting and um, was in your packet for today. Um, so, this is a draft. Um, the commission will need to establish fees if you want to require a permit. So, and there's also, um, as part of the discussion of permitting fees overall and the discussion of rules, um, we were provided with the park pavilion permits which have the rules by park on the back so uh, i believe commissioner runty has also like compiled all of this at one point there we had a consolidated all the different park rules uh, but i think there's some discrepancies between what's on the permits uh, so that's something that, that i think one of you would like to take on uh, but then there's also this question so there's the two sub Oh, far away. No, I just had a question on this. If, if, if the um, pickleball and tennis courts get reserved, uh, do you have to post some kind of documentation that the person reserving them has it reserved? I'm just wondering if I have to make boxes or use a clip or something that someone puts their, their copy there to prove that they have the court, or is that necessary? I would think that if someone is having a reservation, they should have a box or a board with you guys probably don't have the staff of the house that can go around daily but what's reserved and what is so I would think that have it reserved you should bring your permit with you if there's a dispute you have that you have to go from there so whether if it's a, a clipboard you know, I don't think you have to have one for might Rental popular. Are the courts numbered? Court number one. Mm, uh, at at Vernon Bard, they are sort of. I think when we have the new court, that's something.
But is this not going in until? I mean, at present, there's no capacity to do right. this kind of permitting process, so we software for it. But part of you know getting the software up and running, about what be and what deliverable. So the commission intends to have the reports be deliverable from all of them. Good groundwork to discuss that. So. Do you want me to check like what other communities are charging, That's like Greendale, Greenfield, and all? Yep, no, that would be amazing. I can do a list then. Oh, I think that's very good. Yeah. Because you know where the floor and the ceiling are. Not necessarily right. the same way. Like Waukesha was so. charging an outrageous amount. Yeah. But <laughs> they have lights and they have all this stuff that we don't have. So hard to compare. Did you get a chance? Did you want me to do the list of software that's available? I kind of was up like I mean, it. if you have a list, that would be helpful. Right, what content. other communities are using, right? Yeah. Right, because there's like an active one. Of time. So we had gotten quotes from two companies. I don't have files. So I'll do a list of like similar communities what they're using. Is it real expensive software? I mean, it's not Some cheap. of it is. <laughs> yeah. It depends on the scope. So this is the other thing, too. So we did set, we vetted five companies, uh, and some of them were not appropriate. So, and, but it kind of ranges from, like, is it a full-on facilities management piece of software to is it just, like, a permit, permitting piece of software, mm -hmm. which is basically, like, a credit card process that's out of with a with calendar files. Um, so you kind of start with a base of a couple thousand dollars for something very basic on a bad so, I mean, I think when we have a couple of examples, it'll be a good process to go through for you to look at what's available in the front. Administratively, like who's responsible for the software is also um, one of the things that we can figure out. So currently the clerk's office is doing all of the things that process and streamline it. Yeah. Uh, I think you all were here when Nicole came with her computers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad about it. So <laughs> um, it's also the security features mm -hmm. and then the legacy of the software. That some of them are like cloud based and you're just renting time for use of the software where others you're buying the platform and you'll own the data that goes into it. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that it's not a third party fell off of our business data. Oh, yeah. Software. Yeah, I don't think that we looked at any that were set up that way. So they could be cloud based, but like the data was ours because it was going to be, we would have a relationship to existing records uh, so that we would be able to just distinguish between residents. So that was one piece of it. Like if you, residents versus non residents, um, but I don't think we seriously. Hmm. I, mean, I, I don't. I wouldn't recommend. It. <laughs> so, yeah. So we don't have to approve any of this tonight. Not it's tonight. Just an FYI. Yeah. Okay. They would call. You're going to be kind of have a general, more broad discussion. Okay. Yeah, and like these say, it's ten dollars resident. Is that per person or per court? I think like, that's per court. Oh. See what other ones are doing. Yeah. So, can I make because one recommendation too for our um, for our group? Is maybe if she's going to take those two parts, we could each commit to taking a part and just reviewing it and bringing back some recommendations to discuss. That's sure. a good idea. You're not all looking at everything. Like you saying, you want to take this top part, right? With the court rentals, right? Right. I'll get the cost. I'll take the whole outdoor court policy. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I'll do hosting a tournament. You can add whatever you want. Yeah. 
Susie, you might want to take that small corner on the front page there to the clinics, lessons. Sure. And then I'll take the cancellation policy portion. Mm -hmm. Cancellation? That whole left side are you doing? I'll or? do weather and cancellation, yeah. What's this, though? I think this is continuation for all clinic rentals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On application. Yeah, I'll take the left side. Who has the table? I have that. Oh, okay, because I had a couple pounds. I'll, I'll count the other. Okay. Um, okay. Um, just one question about the pickleball. Did Leah contact you about the windscreen? She's willing to pay for them. Yes, I'm sorry. And she said she told you, but she didn't hear anything back. Well, you probably want to contact her because she's under the impression that you're aware that they will pay for the windscreens on the new courts. And... They'll do it. They'll do it. She said they will. I have an email from her. Okay. Okay. We'll all take a crack at some of the stuff. All right. Awesome. We'll regroup. Awesome. We'll jump to uh, letter D. 2023-2024 budget. Park Commission requests for information on park finances. I don't have an update on the this item for today. Uh, but hoping to get uh, a status update. There is the request that was put in for this office. I don't know what, what her involvement was. We'll jump to uh, letter E. Parks marketing materials. Parks and menus, donation policy, parks marketing materials, including maps, pamphlets, et cetera. Um, the map will be published again as requested in the newsletter. Um, the QR code, I think I have to call up with you about that, but it will definitely be like that link through the website. We revised the language no longer. It's a new map that changed, but it will be published again. Okay. Awesome. Any change? Is it not up at all the tourist? I did go to that meeting. Um, like I said, it was really short because it was all in the council, common council meeting and they had to go right away. So um, I just presented what we were planning to do. And um, I didn't have the actual cost of what it was going to be cost us to put it in the city newsletter, but I, I heard it was like $2,000. So I actually requested 3200 for those for those, um, what is that, that, that booklet to have like 500 printed up, and then, um, and for that to go into the letter also. So. Oh, what? When we're going to ask them if they could put the boards up? Oh, I did that too. I asked that too. I kind of, yeah, I put that in there. I increased the <laughs> To put what? Put Put them the at the park. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So that's, I just requested 3200 for all those items. They haven't heard anything. I, they said I have to come back again, or somebody has to come back next week. Well, they liked them. They were all excited about them and stuff like that. That's good. There was another group there, it was from the high school. They want to put a scoreboard up, a huge one at, for the football at the high school. So they were asking for tons of money by the, the little minimum. <laughs> so that kind of maybe helped. <laughs> I don't know. Sure, sure. I did, yeah, I filled out their forms and stuff that they needed. Stuff, so, like all the things. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll jump ahead to letter E or letter G. Uh, Ex officio representation of Franklin Education and Recreation Department. 
Yep, I am working with the city attorney's office on a draft ordinance for this. My goal is to have it on the next common council meeting or not. Totally sure. Um, not ready as of today. It's fine as this week. Um, but yeah, we're really working on that process. So the clerk's office seems that it would be a relatively straightforward process. But we still need to take all. Yeah, I have that as a to do item. Awesome. We'll jump to, uh, to letter B, number B. Uh, budget request for personnel, commission proposal to request a new DPW position to coordinate park permitting and other functions. I'll put a memo in your in your packet. Um, I, I guess I need, I'm willing to help you write it. I need some guidance on exactly what you want this person to do. I made mention last time I annually make requests for new D, new DPW folks. So I would hope it's not in competition with that, but I guess I, I'm here to ask you exactly what do you anticipate this person would so do. So is this what, for the director or is this a different? You tell me. You brought it up last time. You. Okay. I thought it was I that. Thought last time that the parks have increased but their personnel have not is increased i would agree with that yeah so i think the, the idea here was that given that the permitting process does require a lot of information from the clerk's office um, as well as so um, help think about how these things are organized um, i'll refer you guys back to uh, this organizational chart. Um, so the commission is a commission of the Common Council. Permits are organized by the, the clerk's office, um, the parks department, meaning the maintenance and all of the capital works, the staffing, all that comes from uh, DPW and the engineering department, and then commission administration and implementation of the comprehensive outdoor recreation plan comes from the planning department. Uh, the clerk's office does not want this responsibility and it, it, given the logistics of it, there's some value to maybe consolidating it back into the parks department. Um, and then in terms of commission administration, there might be some value in having a supervisor. That person is a director or an administrator, um, whatever that looks like. But especially given the software, if you're making the request for the software, someone has to be the software and planning is not the appropriate. So it's either the clerk's office or DPW. And I know that the clerk's office is maybe not want that responsibility <laughs> because they decided to do it. So um, that is the suggestion that I think we're at right now, what the that personnel request looks like. Was this our first request for a part-time employee work in the office? For an office position, you, office. yeah, you previously recommended additional staff for ground. This this is a new job description, and so the personnel request have to that. Before it goes to the common council, it has to go to the personnel committee, and there's a lot of other steps. So and again, I I can only speculate what you intended. So I guess I'm here to say, give me some more information. What you want, I'll help you. Craft a person. Taking a first shot at it, I would, I would look great. Part time employee, work with permitting, about recreational facilities, areas, shelter, and software management. Committee, rec facilities, software, you said one. Software management. In park. Oh, yes, sir. I changed shelters to buildings. Sure. Work with permitting, recreational facilities, picnic, pavilions, software management. We really don't rent picnic. 
I think they're just yeah. pavilions. You guys don't really have any designated areas of Wondering if you want to roll some of the commission admin questions that they some kind of like project management for the new park, maintaining like you know, documentation of what's happening at the new parks that we're going to be building. So the administrative processes of having the Arizona administration itself that's done those processes, et cetera, uh, is our administrative staff works with you guys and then work with you guys to do all of that. That is something that doesn't need to be housed uh, in terms of the site plan approval and all of that, engineering and planning has established processes for how park design, um, how those approvals work. So those are established processes that they filter through this commission, but really the move is their planning, their tactical roles. So we could look to add some mission issues. Yeah, so like if someone's making a special request to the commission, currently that comes to the chair and then it becomes part of the agenda, but the compiling the agenda, et cetera, is one of the things. So do you think this would be a per I don't know what the qualifications are of the people that work in the clerk's office if they have to have a degree or just a high school education or it varies the role. I would like I would think you're looking at somebody with a high school diploma, GED or they'd have to have good organization skills. Basic understanding of computer software. I don't think they know Mark Zuckerberg, but <laughs> should be allowed to turn it on and off. <laughs> Some basic financial skills, too. Yeah, cash handling. Mm -hmm. That is like the part of writing that will require. Making sure that it integrates with our existing processes appropriately. And another reason not to. Probably good communication skills. They have to entertain the complaints and at all. Like, would they? Would that be something? Like, would they be communicating with the public on complaints? So customer service skills or <laughs> mitigation or there goes my job. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the time. Not all the time. Free time you'll get back. <laughs> Can I see that skill? So okay. DPW? Yeah. Would this be a year round position? To think about if you want it to be year round, you know, kind of what they would do kind of during the the off season. Um, oh yeah. From my experience. Busiest time of booking activities anywhere in the slowest time pocket. So, just something to think about yeah. too when you're deciding if you want the person. I would think you would want them to be here part time for the whole year for continuity, because mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you might not get the same person coming and going all the time. So, yeah. just Something to think about. Part time about, year round. Um, what that would look like when maybe rentals aren't happening. Or, so maybe integrate them more with, with us. Well, I suggest to you still or, have park submission every month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some sort of something with role within the. Yeah. Just through it into chat G it says about it, but administrative support, event coordination, communication, financial, record keeping, documentation, collaboration, proven experience in administrative support roles, proficiency in office. Yeah, that, yeah. What are those things? What is that under? What do you have that under? Uh, Chat me. 
chat GPT. I'm just using AI to do a generic uh, job description, job description right. for a park it department. Bets, all that sounds position. good. Or you can go to WPRA website. Yeah. They have a listing of all the jobs that are currently there, and there's quite a few. Arkansas. 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 We did a little brainstorming tonight. There are some some things, so maybe I'll show you first pass at it next month. Sure. Okay. That'd be great. You can have this. Okay. Awesome. Did you have to list tape? What's that? Eventually, yeah. Eventually, yeah. Full disclosure, I'm still campaigning for this DPW. Well, if nobody has anything else, that would conclude the meeting. I got one more thing. Oh, yeah, fire away. Um, maybe, maybe an agenda item for the next meeting. Um, Jack, the tennis court at Jack Workman Park. It's horrible. It's, it's in terrible condition. And I guess, what should we do with it? Um, is it worth uh, money to fix it up? Or be better spent elsewhere? Um, don't say anything because we can't have a meeting. It's not a meeting. <laughs> but um, the, the, there's cracks in the court. Um, the, the posts are heaved on the fence, so they're up. The fence is up eight inches. Um, the walls are worn underneath. Um, there's no parking there, no restroom. Just um, keep it open the way it is. Whatever. We'll throw it on to the next one. When is the next meeting? Uh, the next meeting will be April April eighth. April eighth, yeah. It's on the board. Alright, April eighth. Oh. We have a motion to adjourn. Motion. We have a second. Excellent. That being said, uh, we'll see everybody in April. Thank you.